Hello, MathLand. So we are going to talk about exponents. We are starting chapter six, and it's all about exponents. So today, what we're going to start with um, is how do we write as an exponent? So if you've been given something like this, what I recommend you do is I recommend that you um, pause this video when I tell you to pause and try it, uh, and then you know hit play to see if you got it right. Um, email me if you have any questions, of course. So we've got two times two times two times two times two. Well, how many twos do we have? We have five of them. So to write this as an exponent, we would write two to the fifth power, right? So for our next one here, we've got seven times seven times seven times seven. How do we write that as an exponent? Pause and try that one out for yourself. All right, that one as an exponent would be seven to the fourth power. Let's try some more. We're gonna go through a lot of these today. All right, the next one, we've got 100 um, times 100 times 100. So the question is, how do we write that as an exponent? Try it out. Should you, get, you should get 100 to the third power. So the next one, we've got negative 8 times negative 8 times negative 8 times negative 8. Try this one out. How would you write that as an exponent? All right, let's take a look at the answer. So this one's tricky, right? Because what's repeating in this one is the negative eight. So if you wrote this, if we look at this, what's repeating is actually just the eight, just the eight's repeating because this four is only attached to the eight. If we want the negative eight to repeat, then we need parentheses. So this negative here without the parentheses is like that, that kid who sits all by himself at lunch all in the corner. We want to include him in the group with a hug, a group hug, so to speak. So we need to group it using our parentheses. All right. Let's try our next problem. All right. So for this one, we've got negative one times negative one times negative one. Take a second, pause the video, try it out. All right. You should get negative one in parentheses to the third power. For this one, we've got negative three times 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 three. Think about what's repeating and write this one down. Think about what's repeating. All right, let's look at the answer. So for this one, the three is what's repeating. So we actually need seven threes, so three to the seventh power. And this negative doesn't repeat. So we don't need parentheses. That negative, we just hang out there. Unfortunately, the lone kid sits alone for that one, for lunch at least. All right, for our next one, we've got negative four times four times four times four. Try writing that in exponential form. All right, let's look at what that answer would be. Be negative four to the fifth power. Again, this negative does not repeat, so we don't need parentheses. All right, let's try this one. One half times one half times one half times one half. Pause the video, try it out. All right, let's see what we get. So we do have four one halves. However, this four is only touching the one. So in order for it to repeat the whole fraction, we need to group them. We need to give it a hug. All right, let's try some more. We've got negative five fourths times negative five fourths times negative five fourths. Try writing that as an exponent. Pause the video and try. All right, let's look at the answer. When we write that, we need to make sure we include parentheses around our negative, right? Because we're repeating the whole thing three times. Our next one, we've got negative three eighths times three eighths times three eighths times three eighths times three eighths. So think about what's repeating. Think about what's repeating and how many you have. All right, let's look at the answer for this one. So we get negative three eighths to the fifth power, but again, we have five threes and five eights. So we need parentheses around our three eights. This negative does not repeat. So it's just gonna hang outside. All right, let's try a couple more. So we've got seven times seven times seven over three times three times three times three. Try this one out and pause the video. Let's look at the answer. So you should get seven to the third power because we have three sevens and then five to the fifth power because we have five threes. 
All right, how about this one next? Negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 over 9 times 9. Write that in exponential form. So with this one, we end up with four negative twos, but is the negative repeating? Yes, that means we need to have parentheses just around our negative two, not the whole fraction, right? It's just the negative two that repeats four times. Then we've got nine squared in the denominator. All right, let's try some more. This first one, x times x times x times x. Pause the video, try this one out. All right, you should get x to the fifth, right? We got five x's. For our next one, we've got e times e times e times f times f. What's repeating and how many times? All right, you should get e to the third and then two f's. It's better to have the e come first because alphabetically e comes first. So we like to have the e first and then the f, all right? Let's do a couple more. Well, we got many more to go, really. So the next one's r times s times r times s times r times r. Write that as an exponent. Keep in mind the alphabetical part, okay? So we end up with an r to the fourth power, because there are four r's, and an s squared. For our next one, x, y times x, y times x, y. Think about what's repeating. Think about what's repeating. Write it as an exponent. So this one's a little trickier, because it's the x, y that repeats, right? And it repeats three times. So if you have just x, y, and a 3, this 3 is only repeating the y. You could write it like this, that's true, but this is a better representation of what's happening here because we have three groups of x, y's. Does that kind of make sense? Email me if it doesn't. All right, our first one here, y squared times y squared times y squared. Write it as an exponent. Pause the video and try. All right, when we write that, we have three groups of y squared. Three groups of y squared. Some of you might tell me that there are six y's. You're right, there are. But again, we're writing this as an exponent. We're not simplifying it. We're just writing it as an exponent. For our next one, we've got m to the third power n times m to the third power n. Write it as an exponent. Pause the video and try. All right, let's look at the answer. So you should have m to the third n in parentheses and it's being squared because we have two of those groups. So we've been talking about ex, uh, writing the exponents. Now we want to go in reverse. So we've been going from this to this, right? We want to expand it now. So we're going to start with 8 to the fourth power. What does that mean? What do we have? So think about what's repeating and how many we have. Pause the video and try. All right, let's see what we should have. Well, you should have 8 times 8 times 8 times 8. For our next one, we've got 4 to the third power. Think about what you have and how many. So you should get 4 times 4 times 4. All right, let's try expanding these ones. So we've got negative 3 in parentheses to the fifth power. Try expanding that. Well, let's look at the answer. So you should have negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. Five times, right? All right, try this one. It looks different, so pay close attention. It looks different. Try expanding this one. All right, for this one, what's repeating is the three. So we have five of those, but the negative does not repeat. So it just hangs out there, right? Let's try a couple more problems. All right, so we've got a negative four in parentheses and it's being squared. Try that one first. Pause the video and try. All right, you should get negative four times negative four. For our next one, we've got negative one to the sixth power. So take a look, look at what's repeating and try that one out. Pause the video and try. All right, you should get negative one times one times one times one times one. So you have six ones and then that negative is not repeating, right? The six only repeats the one, not the negative. All right, these ones require a little bit more writing, but I know you can do it. So let's start with this one right here. We've got three fourths in parentheses to the third power. Write that out in expanded form. Take a minute. All right, let's see what we get. You should have 3 over 4 times 3 over 4 times 3 over 4. For this one, we've got negative 4 ninths to the 6th power. Yes, that's a 6. I know this one requires a lot of a lot of writing, but you can do it. See what you get. So you should get 
negative four ninths six times. All right, for the next two, we've got a negative parentheses one seventh squared. Think about what's repeating. Try that one out. Let's look at the answer. So you should get a negative one seventh times one seventh. The one seventh is the only thing repeating. That negative is not, so it just hangs out. So for our next one, we've got five to the third power over two to the fourth power. Expand that and pause the video. Let's look at the answer. You should have three fives in the numerator and four twos in the denominator. All right, we've got negative three in parentheses to the fourth power over a five squared. Expand that and see what you get. So you should have negative three times negative three times negative three times negative three over five times five. For our next one, we've got w to the fourth power. Think about what's repeating and how many you have. Well, this would be w times w times w times w. All right, our next two, we've got a negative three in parentheses to the third power. Think about what's repeating and how many times. Pause the video, try it. All right, here we go. So you should have negative h times negative h times negative h or opposite h times opposite h times opposite, opposite h. For our next one, we've got a, b to the fourth power. Again, think about what's repeating and how many you have. Try it out. Let's look at our answer. So you should have a, b times a, b times a, b times a, b. Now you might be tempted to write all the a's first and all the b's. It's better to group it this way though, because that's how it's grouped, right? a, b, then a, b. So leave it in its original group. All right, last two. We've got parentheses a squared b to the fourth power. Think about what's repeating. Think about what's repeating. Let's take a look. How would we expand this? Well, we should have a squared b, and we should have it oops, four times, right? a squared b, a squared b, a squared b, a squared b. Now, these actually have exponents still, right? The a squared does. Tomorrow, we'll look at, um, or in our next video, we'll look at how we expand that further. Let's look at this one now. We've got rs cubed inside parentheses being squared. Think about what's repeating. Try it out. All right, let's look at the answer. So we should have rs cubed times rs cubed. Email me if you have any questions. Um, I will post some practice online, so double check Google Classroom.